Alrighty guys, I'm back for another adventure. It is uh, 4.45 on a January day, 27 degrees right now. It was like 40 for a while. Um, but I am starting a adventure um, and I am going hot tending. And this is the first one, like super last minute. I didn't really plan on this. Um, so I'm just driving down this main dirt road to like this area I kind of know out here in the desert of Utah. So let's get this freaking party started. Alrighty guys, so I just pulled up. It's gone down to 19 degrees. I'm right by this like little lake. You can see right there. There's a, like a little lake reservoir. I don't know what it's called. Out here in the middle of the desert. And there's like a, there's like a bunch of campsites around this like body of water. Um, so I pulled up to it. I found the semi-flat area, to be honest with you. Let's get down and look at it. I don't know if it's flat enough. I'm trying to get something super flat to keep down my... All right, so I'm looking at right here. Fire pit, I'm not gonna use that, but somewhere right here. I'm away from all these juniper trees. I think it'll be good right here. My truck's right there. There's a lake, some nice fishing right there. But I think I'm gonna pull up on this spot. Yeah, I think I'll do this spot. Hopefully I can get stakes in the ground. That'll be the key. But... All right, let's get going. All right. So now I'm just gonna get, I didn't think I was gonna need my boots because most of the weather that's hit today in Utah um, it didn't really hit this area, but apparently it did. It hit parts and it didn't hit parts. So I'm gonna put my boots on, get another jacket on, and then I gotta hurry and get the tent and get some firewood and get the stove up all before about six o'clock. It's about five o'clock now. First time setting up the tent, first time setting up the stove, first time lighting the stove in the middle of winter, and it's late. So, this is gonna be interesting, so let's get started. All right, so with today, not only am I testing the tent, I'm also trying to put the jacket on, but I'm also testing um, my cold weather layering system. So as you can tell, I got kind of a new, pretty sick jacket, if I do say so myself. This is a Kuyu Peloton 240. Those of you that follow me on um, Instagram, I posted about it. Um, this thing is like insanely warm for what it is. It's just like a fleece kind of honeycomb type design and it's really warm. So I'm trying that and then I got my micro puff on. So hopefully that'll keep me warm. Let's get the tent all set up. Sight's clear. Now, many of you are probably wondering why I just don't get a snow shovel. I haven't got one of those yet. That's probably why I didn't go backpacking, even though I brought my backpack. I still have a few things I need to do if I want to do that, like in the Unis. That's where I really want to do this, but I need snowshoes, a snow shovel, and more time. Two of those are easy through the last one, 
You need not so much. Alright, so it's all staked out as you can tell. Nice and tight. Now, this is all the first time. So I don't know if I'm doing this right. But looks like a how it how it should from other videos. Good enough. All right. First thing I'm gonna change about this tent. I may need to get steel stakes. I've bent a titanium before. I just bent the crap out of one of those. Whew. And uh, for what the scent does in the middle of winter, yeah, you might need steel. So let's go find some firewood. That is the next priority because it's getting dark and I'd much rather set up the stove in the dark than find firewood. So let's go. All right, um, so like usual, I'm not going, whoa, there's a little bit of ash right there. No firewood, it's a campsite, it's been picked clean, but they've like clear cut some fields just back on the other side of the lake where I, I came in. I'm gonna take my truck, load up a bunch of it, just a crap ton, bring it back, not have to worry about it. That way I cut down on time and I get ready to go. Man, doesn't that just look awesome? Yeah, that's so cool. Alrighty guys, so something pretty cool is I'm pulling away here. I went in the tent to put my backpack and some stuff out of the bed of the truck in there. Man, it is already way warmer than I even thought it would be, just without the stove, okay? No stove, there's like a two inch gap all the way around the bottom. I'm gonna cover that up with some snow because the ground's so hard I can't stake the stakes in really far. So I'm gonna just pile some snow around it, kinda keep a little bit of the draft down. Oh, truck box just opened. Anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then, yeah, but that thing is way warmer. And I mean, from what I can remember, from that trip with uh, Devin and Corbin up in the Uinas. I don't remember my tent being that warm on the inside when I like just went in. I don't know if this is all placebo because I know how warm it's gonna get once I get that stove going. But sheesh, the thing is like way warm. So I'm gonna go get some firewood. I'm not too worried about the dark because I got my light bars on this truck and I can set up stuff in the dark, no problem. Oh, almost missed some. But yeah, so I found some wood. Let's go check it out. Alrighty guys, this is the stuff. They just clear cut all this crap. So I'm just gonna take a bunch of it. Wish I could take that whole tree. But I'm gonna take all of this, well, some of it and just put that stuff in the stove and in the truck. This is one nice thing about car camping and my battery's running dead, so if this thing shuts off, 
I'll be back, but I'm gonna go grab some wood, put it in the bed. I think that'll be enough to be honest with you I don't know how well juniper burns so I may be either whew, a in the middle of the night seeking more firewood or coming in here one of the two but I should be all right right nothing ever bad came from the unknown oh shush got my headlamp and I'm going to start building the stove and at least get it burning and uh, yeah go from there so that is the next plan it's really not that dark but this camera just makes it look darker so yeah and then I'm gonna pile snow from here over to the front only half the tent has a little bit of a gap so I'm gonna kind of pile some stuff just to keep the draft from coming in. So yeah, I'm get the stove going. started hopefully we'll see Now this is all my first time doing this, so there's a lot of learning curves here. But you know, you open the front, which lets air in underneath. But then this thing, the spark arrestor with the damper, this thing always wants to close. So it closes and then this whole place fills up with smoke. It's actually kind of annoying. It'll just like fall, fall, fall. So I always have to keep watching it. But as soon as you open that up, it's just like, just like takes off with the burn, but man. That is nice. So I need to get my shovel back out, my handy dandy shovel, and I'm gonna go pile some snow around this edge. And uh, I think I need to restake some of the corners because it's drooping. So uh, I think I'm gonna do that. So just making some dinner, um, busting up some more firewood. I may need to go get some more process, but we'll see. Um, I'm having a hard time keeping this place warm. I don't think this wood's very good, which isn't helping. And then, so what I did is I covered 
the whole perimeter with snow, the ends, because of the way I pitched it, and because of how hard the ground was, I couldn't get the stakes in to kind of hold the tent down. So they're like pulling up on the stakes, which is kind of annoying, but I covered it with snow and it's not bad. Um, and this wood isn't like ideal. It's not like the best wood to burn. So I'm constantly having to baby it, but it's warming up in here. Just watching a movie, um, thanks to Disney Plus. 20,000 leagues, whoop, 20,000 leagues under the sea. And then I got it on, let me show you. So there you can see it without falling over. I got my phone on a GoPro mount to the center pole and then it's holding up kind of like a small TV. So I got 20,000 leagues under the sea. I'm like halfway done. And then, whoops. And then I got Captain Marvel. And I haven't seen that yet, so. I'm kind of addicted to this Disney Plus. Um, plus I got my speaker. So it's like a surround sound in here. So this is like a completely just have a good time. Don't worry about anything. Um, making some mac and cheese right now. I've had some hot cocoa, some treats, but uh, it's going good. Right now it is 7.45. The wind is blowing as you can tell, which is super, super annoying. I hate wind. Um, but yeah, just watching the tent, making sure nothing's, you know, light on fire, but so far so good. Uh, I'm trying to get it really toasty in here. I still need my jacket on, but it's all good. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I'll have dinner, and then I'll probably get my sleeping set up good to go. Get all ready for bed. Get in my sleep bag. Keep the stove going. And then just watch a movie and just chill. I'm not, like, tired, tired, but I just want to be a little warmer. Um, so yeah. Do you guys hear that? So it's uh, 6.30 in the morning. There's a ton of coyotes, like barking, not just howling, just barking. They aren't that far away. <sighs> There's like a road to my right in this side, it goes up a canyon, and then it kind of splits off. Dang, that is freaking. Super close, it's getting louder too. We'll see what happens here. I'm trying to get the stove going, but it's having a little bit of struggle. Yeah, so I woke up at six, um, got the stove going, then there's a bunch of coyotes howling. Um, and this stove, it's freaking awesome, it's amazing. Um, and I'm still learning all the tricks. It didn't quite get, like, really... Well, there's ice fishers out there. Didn't really get really, really, really warm. Um, but I think it's because of this wood. This wood is just crap. It just doesn't have any, like, substance to it. And so it just burns instantly. And so, like, you'll get a nice hot flame, and the stove will start glowing, it'll get really warm in here, and then just dies. So it's just like, you always have to have, um, wood in the stove, which is alright. Um, and it kept me warm. It went out at about 2 o'clock in the morning, and then I just left it out until 6. And then... 
because the wood was such crap, the box filled up with ashes like really quick. So this morning I took it out and I just dumped it out over behind the camera there. Man, they're still warm, but they're not like threatening anymore. So I think if I had different wood like pine or something I think it would do a lot better something that would actually like burn for a while um see like this right here it's like not burning that well so anyways I don't know if I'm going to fix breakfast I might um I'm going to get some stuff cleaned up and then I think I'm going to go out on the ice and I'm going to get the drone out if it'll start it's I probably need to get the batteries warmed up but yeah I'm just gonna go to that point so alrighty I think I'm gonna go fly the drone for a bit uh, the stove has died down somewhat yeah it's dying down and then I'm gonna get on out of here I wanna get a couple things done today it's going to take a while to clean this stuff up, but it shouldn't be too bad. Once I let the stove cool down, that's like the biggest thing. I mean, these things surprisingly get cool pretty fast. Like, once you stop, like, burning, like an actual burn in them, they actually cool down. Like, the coals are still hot, but, like, everything else is cold, which is nice because you can still kind of grab it and dump the coals out, and then it cools down. But let's head outside. So, the wind is howling like crazy out here, but I'm about to go on the ice. I've never been on ice. This hood's pretty tight, but never been on the ice. So hopefully, it's completely frozen. It looks frozen. It's Pond, the lake has got to be pretty shallow because this thing is like completely frozen and it hasn't been that cold out here so I don't know let's get the drone in the air Alrighty guys, so, let me stick in here, so, first casualty with the drone, um, super cold out here right now, and I can't really fly this thing with gloves on, so, I took my gloves off, I was getting all those shots, and uh, I went to grab the drone because with the spark you can grab the drone and then just flip it. Well, my hands are so cold and unsteady that I nicked myself. And dang, that thing is sharp. I'm going to go get cleaned up, get some stuff in. Probably get a band-aid on this. You know, don't need it getting all over my gear. But uh, yeah, my truck's a mess. 
tent's a mess. I smell like smoke. But it was awesome. So let's get... It's still coming. There's still smoke. So she's still burning just a bit. Um, but, yeah. So I think... Oops. So yeah. I think I'm just gonna kind of throw some crap in. So I'm gonna kind of show you what I got going on. All right guys, I'm gonna show you what I got going on here in the tent. So I obviously got the stove here, you know, the tent with my makeshift wall mount TV deal. Um, over there's the case for the stove. I got my Kiva backcountry porch, which was what my pack was on all night. And then over here I got a 55 gallon trash bag, my speaker, odds and ends, food bag, my gun. Uh, this is just more odds and ends, chargers and GPS. And here's my breakfast. I was gonna have, I'll pull this out for you guys. I was gonna have the breakfast skillet by Peak Refuel. Super awesome meals, guys. They're a local Utah company. They're amazing. I will support them, you know, forever because these taste way better than Mountain House. And uh, they're a local Utah company and I like supporting them. And uh, they're awesome. So, I mean, I wish I was freaking sponsored by these guys because they are amazing, amazing company. But hey, I'll still support them. They're, they're a good company. Anyways, food bag. So what my plan is here is I'm going to go buy a tarp, kind of like this one. This is the one I slept on. This is just a Home Depot, like super heavy duty, just tarp. Get that out of the way. Put this in the food bag. And I'm going to cut it out to the general shape of this tent. And then what I'll do is right here around the stove, I'll just box it out kind of, you know, about like a two foot by two foot box. That way the pole can sit on the ground. Then the tent can, I mean the stove can kind of sit, you know, in that, sorry, you can kind of sit, you know, psh, 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 psh. So, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. If you look in the stove, nothing's really going on. Just a bunch of ashes. I could probably actually touch the... She's a little warm still. But she'll cool down. I think I can grab it with my gloves and get it dumped out and ready to go. But, uh... Yeah, mostly I just got to put some of this crap in my bag and then get on out of here. So, there is ice on the inside of the tent. And it was that way the whole night. Just like two feet around. Or not even that. Just like 16 inches all the way around. There was ice. And I think it was because the heat was coming down the wall. And then it kind of just couldn't get any lower for some reason. I think that's because, like I said earlier, the stove itself wouldn't burn for a long time because of the wood. I think the wood is just too, there's not enough substance to it. So it just like basically just burns away instantly. So I'd get it roaring, st I could start to feel the tent like really warm up and then just poof, gone. So, um, yeah, I want to try this with like actual pine, like like oak or something would be really nice to really get it burning in, but there's not a lot of like oak trees around here that I can camp around and burn. So I want to go to the Uinas once I get the ground tarp cut out. I need to build some new like steel stakes because I've bent the crap out of these aluminum, like just cheap. I think I have some. Hold on it. These are just cheap aluminum, like Amazon special um, stakes. I don't know what that is. Anyways, yeah, I bend them like right there as I'm pounding them in, which, to be honest with you, 
Like I kind of expected it, but I just, for this setup, this tent's going to be in hard ground. And I'm carrying a lot of weight anyway, so I think I'm going to build some steel stakes that can take the beating. And uh, yeah, that should do me better. So, anyways, enough jabbering. I'm going to pack up, get the crap in the tent. Well, I mean, truck, while I'm doing that, I'll wait for the stove to burn down, and that'll be the last thing I take down, of course, then the tent. And then I should be good to go. So if you can't tell, the ground out here is extremely hard. These two are okay. But these cheap aluminum stakes, I mean, you can't, you can't ask too much of them, right? Everything. Yep, that's everything. So, let's get on out of here. Truck's cold, everything's squeaking on it. That is a wrap for this trip. Um, just a quick vehicle camping trip. Um, really good, learned a lot, had some fun. Um, figured out kind of what this whole hot tinning thing is all about kind of what I need to do but yeah it was awesome great trip a lot of fun good times cold um, only got about four hours of sleep but it's because the wind was blowing and I hate when the wind's blowing because it's just noisy and duh can't stand it but I'm fine so uh, I think let's get out of here so if you guys like what you saw in the video there's plenty more where that came from if you are looking for um trips and gear reviews anything like that subscribe to the channel because there's a lot coming and there's been a lot posted um i will continue to keep adding more content and i appreciate all you guys that you know follow and subscribe it really means a lot to me so subscribe if you haven't and we will catch you guys for the next video Oh,